Hey there guys, this is me, I'm Rafi, and today we're gonna be showing you how to play your Android games using your PS4 controller. By using these methods, you don't have to root your Android device, all you have to need is your Android device and the PS4 controller. Go ahead and get them both, and once you're ready, go to the Android settings. And find Bluetooth and device connection, now choose pair new device option, and your phone will search for available Bluetooth devices. Meanwhile, we have to trigger your DS4 to Bluetooth pairing mode and you can do that by simply press and hold the PSN button plus share button for some seconds until the DS4 light bar blinks like this. Now we are successfully activated the Bluetooth pairing mode for the DS4 controller. So let's go back to the Android device and continue the pairing process. As you can see, it's found your PS4 controller and you will see the device name as wireless controller just choose it and it will ask for your permission, check the box to low access to your contacts and call history and choose pair. Now we have successfully paired the PS4 controller with the Android device. As you can see now you can control your Android device using your PS4 controller. You can back out from a task using the circle button, navigate through the home screen using the left and lock stick and select or launch anything with the cross button. It's just the beginning, you can definitely take advantage of this in many other situation other than gaming. Well I know this is not what you came here to watch, so let's fire up a game and see how it performs in a native android game. I will explain how it all possible and what type of games are compatible with this method while we are playing some games on it. So let's have a look at the Asphalt 9, it is one of the graphically high end android racing game that you ever found on the play store. And we thought it would be a perfect fit to demonstrate the new combination. We hope it will give us a somewhat similar experience of a console gaming in an Android device. So here we go, it is running smooth and when it comes to the connection between the controller and the device, there is no latency issues at all. For me it's very responsive, so we can say it's just like using your DualShock 4 on your PS4 itself when it comes to the connection and responsiveness. The game control layout is pretty similar to what we have on a console game, so there is no difficulty of getting it up to a new button layout, so we can say it's extremely playable even though we know it's not made to be played on android device natively. But there is a big problem. You can only use the PS4 controller on certain games which supports the controller or gamepad natively. But don't worry there are lots of games which has inbuilt support for gamepad and controllers and Asphalt 9 is one of them. These are some of the games which I used to play with the DS4 on my Android device. Have a look and hope you like it. The Android device and PS4 controller are work in such a perfect manner, like one is created for the other one. It may be because both the PS4 console and Android device are using the Linux based operating systems. And both of them are offering Bluetooth as well. That's all I can think when it comes to the easiness to use the DS4 and Android device with one another. And there we go, that's how you can play your Android games using your PS4 controller. Like if you liked, subs if you loud, see you soon with another one, have a nice day.